What happens if you take a great sounding guitar amp VST plugin and use it on non guitar sounds? Let's check it out. So I have been searching for a great guitar amp VST plugin for a long time because I was not satisfied with guitar rig or with the stock amps in Logic. Now I talked to some pro experienced guitarist friends and many of them recommended this one called Bias Amp by Positive Grid. So this is what I got and let's check it out and I will show this not as a guitarist but as a sound designer and a synth nerd. So what I will show is how I use this guitar amp to actually uh, do sound design for synthesizers and various types of sounds. For example, this one here. So let's just try, dive right in. This is a like a keys sound. So if we close everything here without the amp, it sounds like this. A distorted keys sound. Right? But it has two piercing uh, high frequencies, so I want to add that more soft, warm sound of a guitar amp. So before and with. I really love this. And so I am not a really a guitar amp tone designer. I just go here into the presets and go through all these categories from clean and then it goes to more distortion, glossy, blues, crunch, high gain, metal, insane. And then they have some acoustic and bass as well. So I could go for a bass amp here and then you get this signal chain. <laughs> So I would use this uh, more in the, this aspect. I could turn on the arpeggiator. Now that is a what I call a metal piano. Let's check out another one. This is just a synth plug sound. Again, let's close the other ones. And uh, this sounds like like this. A couple of layers here. Now let's make it like a palm mute. Uh, heavy metal guitar sound. So load up this metal presets here and without and with. And I could probably add a layer to make that sustain open sound of a guitar. So of course, this doesn't really sound like a guitar, but it sounds like a cool distorted plug synth sound. I could totally use that as a rhythmic low background there in the mix. Uh, the next one I call Rich Drone. So it's this sound here, a pad swell like this. I play just the octaves here. Now I also added the reverb on top of it because when I add the guitar amp here on top Let's just use one tone Let's add the reverb to wash it out Let's see if we have some modulation A bit hot signal here, so I would probably turn it down just so it doesn't clip digitally. That mangled epic drone sound. Also, same amp, Bias Amp 2, Bias Amp Pro 2, I think it's called. This I called Ethnic Fuss. It's just another Omnisphere sound here. Kalimba Drum Fuss Paper. <laughs> Really quirky sound there, but with the amp on top here, let's see, I have to close all this to see what I use here. So I use this one, metal here. So before, with. And I could use this as like a riff type sound as well. Like 
like so. And uh, what's more, I just I just go through the presets. Uh, if I want to change a sound, I just change the preset, another metal sound. Compare. And since they are organized so well, I don't really have to do much. And then I can go into the signal chain and let's say change the cab here, move the microphone. Or go in here, change to another speaker. If you want to master rhythm and percussion, chords and harmony, melody and themes, or perhaps sound design for your music, check out my special discounts in the video description below. Let's try another one. This is a noise escape. Like so. So it's just if I play one note here. Right, some background ambience. Let's make it darker and grittier with a monster preset. So let's do it in the low end. And with it. Really growly type of sound. I have another one here, which is a build up sound. So again, without it. And I just added the reverb on top of it, but. I don't know, it sounds like a plane or something similar to that. And with the bias amp here, I'm using a high gain preset. So before, oh yeah, you listen to that, but after. Really cool, gritty almost a film trailer type sound effect. And now let's just play with this for fun and see what we can do. One of my new favorite synthesizers is Diva, which is an analog synth powerhouse. And then I just add bias amp here. And this is now in the blues category, American bass, but just play it before so you can hear. Uh, this is my default preset really warm synth sound. Then I have modulated the mod wheel here on this fader. So really warm and analog, but still, as all synthesizers um, can feel too clean, so I want to add distortion. Well, let's add the bass or, or this amp with the American bass preset and let's see how it sounds. So before, with. You almost get that black fuss, uh, instant uh, amp style. Let's play it over here instead. Right, I uh, didn't like that preset too much, let's try another one. This was really cool. Compared to, again, let's do the same thing. Really warm, really nice synth sound for what it is. But we want to add that grit, that saturation, distortion. I mean, let's try a crunchier preset. This one here. And what I like about this is when you have a synth sound that you modulated the filter and such on the modulation wheel, you can really open up the sound almost like you open uh, or release the pole mute on an electric guitar. Let's try a high gain preset. Monster. And now that's just to do with everything with the same sound. That's so cool with the guitar amp with good sounds is you can do so much with 
the same preset. Oh wow, yeah, I really love metal um, guitar amp sounds. They are super high gain, but not insane as the next category, so you can still do, at least for single tones. I would probably do something like a filter, envelope or something, to get, uh, or a layer to get that pluck added if I play. Because it's still too long for that, so let's do, for example, something really short. Here. And let's do a long. Something like this. Uh, a bit a bit too short and uh let's see like something like that a bit too short still just a hint more so now i can play short and then when i hold it i can get that more sustained sound and um, let's do this as well I mean, I could totally use this in a cinematic track instead of a metal guitar and uh, just use a synthesizer and this one as well. Uh, and you can also use it on orchestral libraries and such to make them, you could do some drones or gritty pads or something. Uh, just Let's just try another one here. Let's go to the presets, just to a bass here, for example. Let's see. I mean, you get a soft, almost sub with a click, but here you get that. Uh, just go through the presets with the bass uh, or the guitar amp on. Wow. I mean, here I can totally... I don't really personally like that sound by itself. But if I want to make a riff, add this on a metal preset, for example. Uh, let's try another one. Let's try this more. I, I don't even know this. You, you guitarists out there probably think I'm so uh, such a beginner on this, and I really am. I just go by the preset categorization for the, how much gain, basically, and then dive in. Now let's listen to this. And I could probably just add something um, like a reverb on top of it. Yeah, let's just use a room reverb. Okay, too much. Too much. Let's use the wet factor here. Let's put it closer. So... Yeah, just to get that uh, more ambient sound vibe. I mean, now I could use this as a riff, and let's let's try to play it in, as a riff with harmonies. Probably best in octaves with high gain, uh, but if we reduce it to some kind of blues, mm, I didn't like that sound then. I mean, you have this, and with the M, and uh, let's go to a crunch preset. All of a sudden, with this added grit and organic dynamic uh, saturation, uh, you can get from kind of a plain old school sound to something that when even simple notes like this can sound good. So you can have that as the main riff.
And the best part is if you have a preset again that has... Okay, so the, this actually didn't have something. You want to have something where the modulation will uh, make a difference. So let's say we add the modulation here so we can... Okay, why? Okay, so like this. Not too much like that. Because then this thing here will dynamically change the input to the amp and you can do things like to make the sound move more over time. Probably a bit more and let's add some there and not too much on the envelope. Let's try a let delay before. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Let's try an octave below. Okay, too low. But I mean, you can go through other presets. As you can see, you can do so much with a preset library on any synthesizer. So this sustain ping piano. Let's try that with an amp. Without the reverb add the reverb and I mean I think it's way too long of a release and plate reverb hmm. I could probably use some reverb but not too long like this whoops too much Or like 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 make a gritty pulse. Let's try that. This super warm clean sound and then just gain. So these kinds of sounds, the long Drone sounds I love with grit, but a bit mm, too much plate reverb here. Oh yeah, still, still way too much. Where is all the reverb coming from? Is it the delay? Probably the delay, actually. Let's add the extra reverb on top. Yeah, I, I prefer to add that uh, short room reverb at the after the amp, actually, uh, as you can see here. Because then you can uh, really control the tone after you add the, the, all that saturation. I also love playing in octaves. So, almost playing like a power chord. I usually just do the octaves. But you can do the, the fifth as well. Or, if you want to, if your um, synthesizer supports it, just add a stack here, so let's do a stack and then make them go like this, so this is a 7 half steps above and this is 12, so you actually play a power chord um, with one note, so this is playing this, this and this, as you can hear, with this is playing power chords, like a guitar Which I really love doing, both in Omnisphere and Diva, which supports this stacking feature and uh, controlling the intervals of uh, each layer in the stack. Alright, so, and I, I mean, now I've just showed you some of my favorite ways of using 
this guitar amp or any guitar amp i, I really love this bias amp pro 2 uh, by positive grid i will leave a link in the video description so you can check it out if you're interested and go ahead and try out adding a really highly driven guitar amp to any synthesizer or any acoustic or non-guitar sound for your music. Now choose which video you are going to watch next. Or you can check out the amazing bonuses in the video description.